Welcome back to part five of the series on how to measure your blood pressure accurately at home. My name is Michelle Rothenstein and I'm a cardiovascular dietitian. Today I want to talk to you about when to take your blood pressure, what time of day, and how often. So the guidelines say we should actually be testing our blood pressure twice a day. I am so happy if you check it once a day and I know a lot of times it can cause anxiety because the anxiety happens with not knowing if you have a plan, right? If someone's like, oh, I'm scared of my blood pressure cuff. If it's high, what am I gonna do? That causes that anxiety. I want you to be friends with your blood pressure cuff. So start with one time a day. And when we hone into that one time of day, we are gonna create an action plan to help lower those numbers. And that's gonna build your confidence around your heart health. So start with once a day. Start with morning blood pressure. I like to do it before medications, before food, before caffeine, and after you use the restroom. Check it to see if it's above 20 over 80, we have to understand why so that we can implement strategies to help lower it. If it, if you're on blood pressure medication, you've added dietary strategies and now your blood pressure is low, whether you feel dizzy, lightheaded, or it's below 90 or over 60, we need to make sure you notify your physician to help adjust and lower your blood pressure medications. This is key. So make sure that you are logging it and that way we can communicate better with your doctor. So adjustments in medication could come directly from your physician. After the morning blood pressure is normalized for two weeks, let's move to the middle of the day. If that's normal for two weeks, awesome. If it's high, let's intervene. Let's understand why. Let's add strategies to help lower it and improve it. This is how we be proactive. We understand when is it elevated because it's silent. We may not feel it. And then we intervene because we understand why in those times it's going up. And then we go do the same thing for the evening. So check it really at different times so you know when it's fluctuating, but then we can adjust it because we're going step by step, one small change at a time to really improve your blood pressure readings. Super important, make sure you log it, make sure you share it with your registered dietitian, and make sure you share it with your healthcare team. Hope this video was helpful. Be sure to share it with someone who may benefit. Talk soon.